at orientation, I reference my time here as kind of what I would hope for them to have. And I say that, you know, when I was here for the three years from 89 to 92, I never worked harder in my life. I never had less money. <laughs> and I was never happier. Now, I don't do any work. <laughs> Got more money than I could ever spend. And I'm completely miserable. <laughs> Look at post-convergence as these things occurring not just within a medium, but across media and how these things might interact. Is there any other things you can think of or want to comment about this? Again, these are just some ideas that I'm kind of putting out to think about some of these issues. Sorry, I'm slow because I have a short attention span. Um, <laughs> so your second point, more than others, seems to be, I mean, that, that varies an awful lot. That's an, on an individual basis, right? I mean, the, the others are, are more statements about, in fact, structure. See, maybe yeah. Maybe, I mean, I know, think there so. are some I, people who don't want to be content managers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and I think I kind of qualified that with more and more often uh, oh, rather than absolute. Yeah, I think about my mom. She has never used the internet, but she is an, incre an incredible television content manager. She watches a lot of TV. She's got three television sets. She has this whole system set up where she, you know, where she does all this. And so she, she's not really a post-convergent person, but I think I think more power rests with you know with the individual. And, and we have more opportunities and more often are on content managers. But yeah, not an absolute. We're just encouraged and the structures of things are such, uh, the availabilities allow us to do that more. I think the gap theories are still important too. I mean, and your mom's a great example. You know, there's a gap, she obviously, I'm assuming has the means, mm -hmm. you know, to have a computer. I mean, you can get one for a couple hundred bucks, right? She's choosing not to. So she's, she's a non-adapter, mm -hmm. right? Um, but with other people, you know, like not everyone can yet afford an iPhone, for example. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's still differences mm -hmm. that need to be thought about in terms of, you know, access and affordability. Mm -hmm. And some people can't afford iPhones and still buy them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That's exactly right.